All right, we're gonna do ourselves a little crop update. Uh, just put a video up the other day um, titled How I Got Started Farming. This is the field I was working. As you can see, I've, I've planted it. And if we don't get a rain today, I'm gonna have to go get a crumbler and, and run it over this. Um, cause it's crusting. It's crusting really, really hard. Uh, cause we got a hell of a heck of a rain on top of it. So we, it's just starting to poke through here. Uh, not a crumbler, but, a we call them like, uh, chicken pickers and a rotary hose. Seeing that, um, but yeah, so that's where that's at. And I think we might get a rain. I don't know. It's just so spotty. This is my German millet that I no-tilled. As you can see, we've had so little rain. What well, wasn't under the pivot. Didn't even come up. What was on the edge of the pivot burnt up. And yeah, what was next to the track did good. Um, I'm not too terribly impressed with this. You can see, I mean, it's it's just a lot of low spots. Uh, now, that being said, this had absolutely, like, no rainwater on it. So, it did not have much help. It was fertilized. Um, it does have some time left to grow. It's got about a week and a half, two weeks before I'm going to cut it. Um... Uh, Fighting, fighting bind weed down there, naturally. Um, and that, these spots here are probably what, yeah, these, these are bind weed spots, so that's where that problem is. A lot of weed issues. Should have been dissed and then just planted, but um, it wasn't. I wanted to try it this way. If it had gotten a lot more rain, probably would have done better. But it didn't, so it's, it didn't do much. Um, I don't know. I don't even know what it'll produce. There's probably like 40 acres here. So, and I didn't spray it. Um, you know, that's, that's just kind of where it's at. This was really... I wanted like a comparison between this variety and that variety. Uh, that variety got watered maybe once or twice more than this variety, maybe. Um, but as you can see, these low spots are just fighting bindweed, and that's that's a problem. That's something that's going to get addressed in the next uh, year or two. Then we have where I dissed it because the pivot track, and you can see, uh, I mean, you can, you can clearly see around that it just, it did just a little bit better. Some spots aren't, but some spots are. And I, you would say that, oh, well, that's because the pivot tracks here and it was, you know, losing more water. Well, you go all the way out to here where the edge of the disc is and, and you can clearly see Maybe not like this because the light, but, you know, this way you can. You know, just the edge of the disc was on the pivot track and it went all the way out to here. So, you know, for whatever reason, that's how this stuff is. Not terribly impressed with it. Uh, it is what it is. I am working with time constraints. We had absolutely no rain until, you know, the past couple weeks. And even then, we haven't had that much rain. So, that's where it's at. Um, I'll probably merge it all together when I cut it with my swather. Because it'll, it'll be that thin. Uh, you know, and there are some good spots. There, there are some good spots, but primarily, a lot of it's just like that. Just not very tall. So, we'll get what we can get. And then what we'll do is we'll 
put dry fertilizer down and then disc it all in so but the weeds are gonna have to be addressed um, this stuff really I mean it it could definitely if I if we didn't have a chance to rain today definitely would be going and getting a crust buster and and running it over that tonight now let's get over to this circle uh, like I said that was German millet hybrid pearl millet uh, this is almost like it's crossed with like a sedan grass almost it just the way the stalks are it's almost like that it's not but it's almost like that <coughs> um, this is where it's double planted uh, out here yeah, you can see some dry spots but for the most part I mean it's it's well up it's pretty tall um, this is the better part that had too much alfalfa in it and it choked it out uh, parts of it but you know this is this is definitely the better better part of the field I don't know what it's going to produce in the way of tons I don't know we I, if we get two bales to the acre I'm going to be really surprised uh, because we're having to cut it early and there's just too many slow spots if we had more time it might be better but uh you know this stuff isn't anywhere near ready to head out um well let's pull one yeah that head we'll get it over the pickup and we'll try to find where the head is but alfalfa you know gone to seed it's small leaves mainly stems they don't like cow feet and then I have spots like this that look burnt um Maybe got too much fertilizer, I don't know. Uh, but it's going to be what it's going to be. We'll uh, probably we'll know pretty soon what our irrigation totals are going to be on it. Um, and kind of go from there. But I mean, this is thick. I mean, it really is thick. Just, it's not all what it could be. So, let's get over here and this stuff really kind of has to get cut by the 21st, you know, it really does, just time frame. I'll put this down and we will we'll take it apart. Find out where seed head is. These things have a uh, seed heads almost like cattails. That's kind of what they look like, and I think that's. I think it was up here in this top joint. Um, gonna make a mess out of this, but. May or may not be. Yeah. Yeah, see, uh, that's a very inner part of it. Like this, this stuff could go way longer. This stuff could go till uh, the middle of September. It really could. Um, so, I mean, that was up here. It maybe this stuff's probably two foot tall. Something like that. Maybe a little a little taller than that. But, yeah. Lots of moisture in it. Um, 
Definitely lots of moisture in it. And I, I'm, I'm thinking, I know what that brown stuff is on those leaves. We had a hail, uh, quite a few hails. And it was, uh, this stuff is got quite the center to it. It's almost like, it can almost get like corn sometimes. And I think that's where that, you know, that's where it's getting really close to like, like a hay grazer. Because you get that white pithy, it's almost, uh, like that on the inside, you know, hay grazer is really similar to that, or sorghum sedan grass. Um, it's not perfectly hollow. That's what it does. It takes a while to dry out. You got to crack those joints so it can completely dry out. But anyways, uh, we had a really hard driving rains and stuff like that. So that's probably what it is. Um, I'm not sure what it's going to make. I mean, this stuff is burnt all the heck on the edges. It just didn't have, didn't have any friends this year. We did give it a little fertilizer, um, gave it water, but we didn't just leave the well on. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to see, you know, what it would do with limited water and, this this one really honestly this is fantastic. This one did really good. I'm happy with it. Uh, time wise, you know who knows. This I'm not so happy with. I thought this would do better, but who knows? Well, there's my dog. Come on, let's go. Let's go. But anyways, that's uh, what's going on here. Got a lot of wheat getting ready to go in the ground uh, for dry land. And then we'll just be on and off getting irrigated ground ready. Hey, you done playing? So catch us on the next one.